Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with the Pipedrive CRM and how you can set up pipelines within Pipedrive. So let's get into it now. CRM refers to Customer Relationship Management and this is one of the largest parts of any business nowadays. It's very essential for you to be able to visualize your sales pipelines, to be able to segment your leads, to be able to service your current customers, and also find future potential customers. So Pipedrive helps you solve all of these issues in a simple and effective manner. And all you have to do to get started is click on try for free on the top right over here, and you can enter your work email and get a 14 day free trial. Or you can sign up with Google as well. So I'm just going to continue on with Google. After that, you will just have to enter some personal information. Now, once you have provided your information, they will ask you what is your job title. So let's say that I am the CEO and what kind of experience that you have previously had. Then you can enter what you want to do first. So you want to set up teams. If you want to set goals, if you want to find new leads, if you want to close deals faster or manage relationships better. So I will just do that. And once you have entered all of this information, it is going to create the pipeline service for you. Now, the best part about using this platform is that you really have a smooth experience in terms of running your business and running your CRM. If you're working on a other project management software, this is focusing on CRM so you can experience pipeline using sample data or customize it to make it your own. So on the left side of your screen, you're going to find this navigation panel where you will be seeing your leads, your deals, your projects, and your campaigns. Then below that you have mailing options, activities, contacts, and insights. Then you have product and marketplace. Then in your more section, you have automation documents and some data. Now to get started. First off, with any kind of business, you have to enter your project. Now, I like to start with projects because it's simple, but you can go on ahead and click on try for free and try out their plan, where they allow you to create your own project. So in this way, you can do all of your project management over here. It simplifies your user experience. I personally do like it, but if you don't want to, you can leave it and just use the CRM tools. In the top section, you have your leads. So you can click on add new lead over here and you can enter your contact data. So whatever data you have collected on your spreadsheet or Excels, whatever kind of customer data you have, you can add it over here or you can even try lead booster to go on ahead and boost your lead. So you can activate lead booster over here and you can add this integration onto your website or onto your blog to get more leads for your business. Now next up, you also have things such as web visitors where you can link your website and see how many visitors and engagement you're getting. Then you also have messaging features too. Now below that you have your deal section. So in this you can click on deal and you can add the contact person, the organization, title and value. So let's say I have a business and I'm making a deal to supply 1000 t-shirts to a company. For that I will enter the contact person, the organization name and all of the expected items. So over here, I'm adding the number of items as you know how many, whatever the item name is. So let's say this person is purchasing t-shirts. So I will just add that as a new product. And then I will enter the price as $10 for a t-shirt. And then I can enter the quantity that they are buying from me. So let's say they're buying a thousand t-shirts. So maybe Joe is from a restaurant and they want restaurant uniforms and they're buying a thousand t-shirts from me. And then I can choose the pipeline. Then you can also choose the visibility. So if you want to exclude people in the company, if you only want certain subgroups, if you only want certain followers to be able to see this, you can do that. Then you will enter the person's number and the email address. And you can click on save over here. And now you can see I have a restaurant deal in lead in. And after that, you can also go on ahead and choose to move this in contact made. Once you make a contact, then you can also click on schedule an activity. Then maybe if you want to make a call, if you want to do a meeting, task, deadline, email or lunch. So maybe they have a deadline too for you to provide, maybe samples of your t-shirts. Then you can enter deadlines over here as well and manage those directly in your CRM. 
then you can move them to proposals made. Now if these fields do not work for you, don't worry, you can click on your pipeline on the top right and click on new pipeline and make new fields as well. You can also create a new board from scratch as well. Now moving on to our next section, we have campaigns. In your campaigns, you can click on get started for free and you get a free trial of campaigns. They have a free trial of all their features if you want to integrate those are not in your CRM. But campaigns are a good feature to track, especially if you're not doing email marketing in any other format. So it's just easier to integrate it with your CRM. Now after that you can click on automated campaigns over here and email templates. So you can use a template to get started with and you can use a blank or use a layout. And then using that layout you can send promotional emails. You can send welcome emails, seasonal emails, newsletters, all that good stuff to your pre-existing and new customers. Now after that you have activities. Now in this activity section you can manage your entire business. So for your entire meetings, your entire office, all of your employees can add all of their activities over here, which will enable you to see how further along you are in a specific deal, where you can also denote the deal and the contact person. Then you have your contact. So over here you can enter all of your contacts and the contact timeline as well. Maybe you've worked a couple of times with this business. Maybe you want to contact them again. Maybe they are a driving force in your business. Then you have insights and products where you can enter all your products that you're selling and manage the viewership that you're getting with each individual product. Now if we take a look at the pricing, the essential version of Pipedrive starts at $9.9 where you have basic customer support, simple data import, an easy lead deal and calendar pipelines. Then the advanced version starts at $90.90 where you have full email sync with templates and scheduling. Then the professional version which is recommended where you can create, manage and sign, assign documents and contracts as well as get forecasts on your project. And then you have the power and enterprise version where they have unlimited user permission and additional highlighted security. So that starts at $49.90 and $59.90. So I do think they are priced rather reasonably. It's not free, but it is still a very powerful software that can enable you to expand your business to quite a height. And I do think that it is worth it. So that's all for this video. If you found value in this, then do make sure to give this a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Thanks.